you have to understand I'm talking about humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago. If a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't work a job. She couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman literally needed that man for survival. So if if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, mm-hmm. I'd be like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? None okay. of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. This is why in most of the world today, still today, virginity is so coveted. And throughout all of history, it's been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm-hmm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Prove it's mine. <laughs> Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, <laughs> in most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, – anti-promiscuity you can't tell that that's your baby so Mm. it's a completely different thing you're looking at the idea of a man a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men saying one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when i'm fat and moody (laughs) and annoying and i need my bills paid and all the men are going to sit there and go no fuck no prove it's mine you can't prove it bounce where it's different if i get four women pregnant we know that we know the deal 